was focused on you, my love had no curfew, no curfew, huh? Came to realize you was my only issue, only issue, but I still miss you, miss you. Told my fam about you back then. Used to be about them before I had you, about them. I was focused on school and the books I had plans to. Uh-huh. Get a good job, make more money for you. Uh-huh. But damn, I still miss you. Yeah. Save All right, welcome to the Sneaker Show. I am your host, Jerron Mon, Don of the Jerron Mob, which you can join our Discord with the link in the description box below. But if you have ever, ever, let's see, what, 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 what should we say this week? If you have ever done a lace swap on your own pair of kicks congratulations you've come to the right place this is the show for you now tonight we have a very interesting episode there's one pair of kicks with some new technology which you guys probably saw in the thumbnail which is very 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 interesting i cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say about those but we also have some pretty exciting upcoming releases from nike adidas converse and stuff like that so let's just dive straight into it it's great to see everyone here in the chat josiah is our moderator for tonight's stream hopefully jack shows up but i saw gene in the chat i saw luke in the chat warren welcome back man it's great to see all of you guys let's jump right into the show the first shoe we're going to talk about today is probably one that everyone's excited about right the nike kobe 5 pro tro big stage parade now this is a new colorway, but it's also not. It's kind of a remix of a previous colorway that we've seen in the years past, but they've kind of updated updated it to make it look uh, a little more, I, I don't know, unique. Even though I don't think the, the old big stages ever released, I could be wrong on that. However, we've seen this uh, particular colorway on NBA Kicks before, so let me know if it's a cop or a job from you guys right now so I could get it to it. A little bit later in the chat but um here's kobe actually wearing rest in peace kobe the big stage kobe fives now from a distance right it just looks like a white and gold colorway i remember him wearing these i'm pretty sure he wore these during game seven of the 2010 nba finals against the boston celtics but it did have this same print that you're seeing here it's just not as prominent because it's not black, obviously. It was more like a gray or or it kind of faded into the white upper, whereas these are, are black. Now, then when they won the championship, he wore these and it had like a royal purplish blue colorway on the overlay, which I think Nike should have dropped these. I think Nike should have dropped these. That looks extremely dope. I do like the contrast that this black brings out. But I don't know, that, that Laker colorway looks pretty dope to me. So maybe they could have gone with that. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like how it came out with this black and white? Or would you like this kind of royal, classic Laker colorway to be released instead? I personally would pick these, even though usually I would pick the black. But, you know, obviously with everything that happened, I'm, I'm like super, super, like I'm my Laker fan is really coming out. I'm wearing more purple and gold than I have ever worn. Uh, you know, it was part of me growing up, so I'm, I'm happy to rock it. But I think these uh, would have been a lot better as a release. But instead, we're getting these, and they're still dope. I mean, they're still dope. I'm, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, it's an Instacop. Absolutely an Instacop. There is no way in hell that I'm not going to try to pick these up. And I say try because it's going to be really hype, right? These are, oh, whoops. These are not going to sit. They're going to sell out. So if you want a pair, you got to be on your toes. You got to be on your game. You got to be on the sneakers app, and you're probably going to catch an L. I mean, that's just the way it is. So we've all been there, uh, but you got to try. You got to try. You got to have that Mamba mentality, and hopefully if your Mamba mentality is strong enough, you'll be able to cop a pair. But it's an instant cop for me. I mean, I love the two-tone look of these. You, you can see the left shoe has a black tongue and white laces, while the right shoe has a white tongue with black laces. Personally, I'm probably going to end up putting black laces on both pairs. That's just the way I rock. I, I don't like white laces, they, especially when they get dirty and stuff like that. And I'll probably end up playing in these just to give me that Mamba mentality, you know, put me in Mamba mode. So I'd probably do uh, black uh, laces on both of them. But if you take a look at the top down, the left shoe, the lateral side has that awesome big stage parade 
you know, print, that graphic, whereas the right shoe, it I think it does have it on the lateral side, but it's faded, right? It's white. It's kind of embossed or it kind of blends in with the upper. And the same could be said for the medial side of the opposite shoe. But if you take a look at the right shoe, only the inside has that contrasty black pattern, which is a really, really interesting design. And it, it's kind of got this two-tone look that I think is pretty unique. If you take a look at the back here, you can see the inner linings are different. And you have that split midsole. You have the black and the white. It's pretty cool. It's, I don't know what the technical term is. Asymmetrical? I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I didn't do that well in geometry, but it actually, that's a lie. I did pretty well in geometry. It's one of the easier math courses. But anyways, we're getting off topic. The Kobe 5 Pro Tro Big Stage Parade is, is definitely an instant cop. When are these releasing? Um, August 2020. So it'll probably release on, when is Mamba Day? Mamba Day is not in August, right? But his birthday is in August. I think his birthday, uh, let's look it up. Kobe Bryant birthday. 25th or 23rd? Right, 23rd. Uh, so it probably released on the 23rd. I mean, it would make sense to be on Kobe's birthday. So definitely, I'm taking a look in the chat. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Someone says I'm broke. Sean says I'm broke, so drop. Hey, man, we've all been there. We've all been there. But I, I, I'm thinking most of you guys are saying cop. King Cobra says drop. King Cobra is not feeling these in the chat. Most of you guys like the black and gold, though, as opposed to my preference with the with the royal and gold. Most of you guys seem to like the black and gold. So you guys are happy that Nike went this direction. Definitely keep an eye out for these sometime in August. Definitely an Instacop. All right, now let's move on. Another Nike basketball shoe. This is an orange flavored Gatorade Nike PG4. Now, Nike has already released a couple Paul George Gatorade collab colorways, right? I think two. The, the blue one, which was kind of sort of a launch colorway. And then they came out with the orange one, which I liked better than the blues. And that was his all-star pair. Even though he wasn't an all-star. Am I remembering that correctly? Uh, very weird. But... It looks like we're getting a third Gatorade Paul George sneaker. Let me know what you guys think about these. I'm going to blow them, blow up the images for you guys. Uh, but this is an interesting shoe because the graphic pattern on the upper, if you could take a look, it has Paul George's logo all around it on the underlay. And the overlay is like a white screen mesh. We've seen it. You know, we've seen the PG4. It's nothing new. It's got the shroud. It's got the zipper. But what do you guys think about these oranges? You know, for this colorway in particular, I think it might be cleaner than the uh, previous orange Gatorade PGs, but I don't know if there's enough here for me to cop these. I mean, the white mesh is not, I'm not feeling the white mesh on these. I like the blue hits, but it's a lot of orange and it just doesn't scream Gatorade. If I didn't tell you guys that this was a Gatorade PG4 colorway, you guys wouldn't know, right? It doesn't scream Gatorade. It's just orange. So I'm going to have to make these a drop. These are a drop. I mean, they're just not unique enough. It looks like an orange, white, and kind of blue colorway of the PG4s, which is fine. I mean, it's not awful, but is it worth, you know, going out and spending your money on? I'd say no. So um, I'm going to drop these. Let me take a look in the chat. Gene is 50-50 on these. Um, let's see. Josiah says, nah, those are just not for me, but I think it's one of the better colorways of the shoe. Yeah, I mean, Josiah, it's 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 a clean colorway, but I don't know. It's just it's just not doing, doing much for me. Um, now, the next colorway of the PG4s, is actually a lot better. So I think most people are going to drop these. Jace in the chat says he's going to cop these. Jace likes these. He says it's lit. Cop. Oh, Pal Sam in the chat also is copping. Not once. Not twice. Not thrice. Four cops. Uh, actually, five cops from Pal Sam in the chat. So Pal Sam likes these. Now, let's take a look for the people who want to pick these up. Is there a release date? It has not been announced, but... uh. So Collector will keep you posted in the coming weeks. Um, yeah, it's a drop for me. But if you like them, you like them. You do you. That's what makes you beautiful. 
All right, the next PG4 colorway we got is one that I actually think I like better, even though it's not as unique. It's a triple black colorway of the PG4s. Now, I remember back in the day, like as early as two years ago, triple black colorways were common, but I, I feel like they're not as common anymore. We just don't see triple black colorways that much. Now, I don't know what the reasoning is behind these. Maybe Nike took a look at the triple black, black colorway sales and they saw dimin diminishing returns or they didn't sell as much as they would like, so they stopped making them. Or did it, does it have something to do with the fact that now every launch colorway of signature sneakers, we've seen it in Kyrie's, we've seen it with the PG's, the KD's, they all seem to be black and white, right? So if they're going to launch these signature sneakers in black and white, it really wouldn't make sense to drop a triple black colorway because while triple black is different from black and white, they're pretty similar. So I'd understand why Nike doesn't want to put two of the same types of colorways out of the same shoe. I get it, but I do miss the triple black wave because it's a wave that I definitely surfed. I love triple black. All of my boys, they can't do triple black. They say it looks like waiter shoes, waitress shoes. I get it. Restaurant shoes are all black, but they like white sneakers. I like black sneakers. So, and and also I miss the days when I wasn't too sure about how a sneaker looked. I would take a look at them in a triple black colorway, a blacked out one, and I then I judge it because if a shoe can look good in triple black, it's a beautiful looking sneaker, right? So that's how I used to judge shoes. I I haven't had that luxury because like I said, triple black colorways are kind of rare now. But here are the PG fours in triple black. Um, obviously it's not triple black. There's some gray here, but I, I really like the camo on the outsole. It gives the shoe a slight uniqueness. It would be a little plain without this camo on the outsole. Um, so I like that, but man, it just looks clean. That is just a clean looking colorway. This is going to be a cop for me guys, not an Insta cop, but it's a cop. This is a shoe that I would rock on the court. You know, I like wearing all black, especially when I have a very important game in my rec leagues or or if I just want, you know, a little extra, you know, look good, feel good boost. I'll, I'll put on a triple black colorway. I love triple black. And I think the PG4 pulls off the triple black extremely well. I'm seeing a lot of cops in the chat as well. So I think we're aligned on this one, guys. The PG4 in triple black is a cop. It's a beautiful looking sneaker. Now, when do these release? Um... It just says soon. You got to love it. Soon. What happened to sneaker reporting? We used to have release dates months in advance, but now we're just getting soon. A release date has not been announced. We'll keep you posted. It probably has something to do with these companies just dropping sneakers whenever they feel like and not informing any news out outlets because news travels fast, right? So these companies can just drop a shoe and then the blogs are all on it and there's the advertisement. So, uh, if you want the triple black PG4s, it's an awesome sneaker, guys. I haven't been able to play in them. I have that ID pair. Hopefully, you guys watched that video of me unboxing my Nike Bayou PG4s. I don't want to play with them outdoors because they're, you know, Nike Bayous. I, I don't want to beat them up. Uh, and they're probably not the greatest outdoor option either. They're, they're not the most durable sneaker in the world. Um, but from all accounts, I've heard it's a great sneaker. And it only retails for $110. I think this triple black colorway is going to be well worth your money if you're interested in copying because triple black colorways tend to last longer than, you know, other colorways because they're triple black and they don't look as dirty. So they're going to keep looking fresh for an extended amount of time. So the PG4 triple black is is definitely a solid option. So uh, let's move on here. We have the Nike Kyrie 6 Asia colorway. Now, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> what do you guys think about this? This is one of those shoes that remind me of like a kid's shoe. Like this is a kid's shoe, but in adult sizes. And I'm just not a fan of them, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really not a fan of this. The black doesn't really match this, this pastel, like blue or purple or whatever that is. It's a faded color. If this if the laces were a little bit more vibrant, it would pop off the sneaker a lot better. And then it seems like you have these glow in the dark, you know, hits where on the inner lining, the tongue, the outline of the swoosh or the drop shadow, the heel cup, 
and whatever this is on the forefoot of the midsole slash outsole. So I get why they went with a faded like lace color to match the glow in the dark. I'm, I'm just going to assume that this is glow in the dark. Usually they have a glow in the dark photo if it is. Um, I don't see one, but I don't know. The faded colors just don't really work with the black upper. However, this camo is hard. I really like this camo. This is a really, really nice camo, but the rest of the shoe just doesn't really put it together. I, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Asia is um, Kyrie's sister or daughter, or s he's related to someone named Asia. Um, so that's great. I love the personal connection, but the colorway is just not doing it for me. So I'm going to have to drop these. I would mega drop these, but they're not awful. They're just not good. They're they're not like fugly or ugly, so I'm not going to mega drop them. I'm taking a look in the chat. I see a lot of people dropping these. Jared, actually. Welcome back, Jared. Good to see you on the stream, man. Really appreciate it. What's up, Jack? Our second moderator is in the building. Um, Vinny, my man, says, too much going on here. The funny thing, Vinny, is it could be a lot worse. Nike gets pretty crazy with their sneakers. This is toned down compared to some other colorways, but I do agree with you. There's a lot going on here. And the Kyrie 6 is a very busy silhouette on its own. You have a lot of elements working here. You have the strap. You have the big swoosh. You have the heel cup with the, with the logo underneath the heel cup. You have different materials from the forefoot to the midfoot and the collar. It's, there's a lot going on already. By nature, the Kyrie 6 silhouette is very busy. So when you add a busy colorway to this, it can get pretty frantic. It can get pretty crazy. And I'm going to drop these. I'm seeing a couple cops, though, in the chat. I would actually say we're closer to 50-50, maybe even 60-50 in favor of the Kyrie 6 Asia. So it's a pretty polarizing sneaker. I think the people who like them, like them. And I think the people who don't like them, really don't like them and i'm more on the side of really don't like them so i'm going to drop these uh let's take a look at some release information for these uh again no word on a release date for these yet <sighs> i i don't want to sound like a boomer but back in the day we'd already know when these are dropping i'm just saying that okay uh let's move on to another nike basketball sneaker the Nike Adapt BB 2.0. Now, I did a performance review on these guys, so if you haven't checked out that video, definitely do that. I actually like this shoe. I think it performs pretty well. It's not perfect. I think the materials on the previous Adapts were a lot better than the 2.0s, but the cushioning was way better, and I think the fit was also slightly better. Maybe not significantly better, but the fit on the 2.0s was an improvement. So I do think it was a better sneaker in some ways, but in other ways, it wasn't from its predecessor. But one thing that I'm not liking about the 2.0s is the colorways. Like, what is this? Now, we've covered another colorway of the 2.0s. Uh, what were they called? The 2.0 2K colorway? Let's take a look here. Now, these are okay, right? The red ones. But then we covered these, right? The yellow ones, which... <laughs> Apparently, you needed to do a challenge in 2K, and then you were eligible to cop these. So it was kind of like a special edition thing. But come on, guys. That's a team colorway. That's a team colorway. If your high school has yellow, that's what your team is ordering. So plain, so disappointing. Very, very, very awful collaboration between Nike and 2K here. I mean, if I did a challenge in 2K and I grinded for it and this was my reward, I'd be pretty upset. So if we're taking a look at these blue ones it's kind of like those yellow ones right where it looks like a team colorway however nike did salvage some things to keep these from looking too generic if you take a look at the midsole you have some speckling on the midsole as well as the heel cup that isn't something you see in team colorways or high school sneakers so that's good and the outsole if we get a photo of it has a camo uh you know kind of graphic underneath the translucent rubber which is great so those two things the speckling as well as uh, the camo on the outsole save these from looking too generic. And I also think that Nike going with a blue swoosh instead of a white one on the shroud also keeps it from looking generic. But at the end of the day, it's just not enough. It's not enough 
to make these a cop, it's a drop. Especially at the $350 price point. I mean, Nike should definitely be coming up with some different colorways. But we have Siam Pandy just subscribed to the channel, man. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. I appreciate you, dog. Thanks for joining the stream, my man. Uh, back to the Adapt BB 2.0s in this blue colorway. Yeah, it's just... Where is the Air Mag colorway of the Adapt BB 2.0? Where is that? Like, if we look up uh, Nike Adapt Mag BB... <clears throat> like, where's this colorway? This was one of the best colorways of not just this sneaker, but of all of last year. I mean, this colorway was... Beautiful. This is what we call an Insta cop. Okay, this is what we want, Nike. We don't want this. We don't want this. A shout out to Zhang Tony for subscribing. I appreciate you. We appreciate you, dog. Thanks for joining the sneaker show. This is not what we want, Nike. This is too generic. We want more stuff like this. We got another subscriber, Evo. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. Thanks so much for subscribing. Nike, come out with more colorways like this. Why hasn't there been a mad colorway of the 2.0s? Ivan, another subscriber. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, dog. Now, I'm, I'm trying to figure out uh, BB 2.0 Air Mag. Is there a concept, like a fan a fan made up, a mock-up of the Adapt BB 2.0 in that Air Mag colorway? Uh, Jay Walker, thanks so much I appreciate you. for subscribing, man. I appreciate you. I, I'm not seeing any concepts here, but I mean, look at this colorway. What? 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 Yo, whoever designed this, come on now. Come on now. This is what we call Bruh. a mega drop. That's a mega drop. This colorway is a mega drop. This is bad, but man, the that BB 2.0, it's just... They want you to pay $350 for some trash colorways. I mean, it's not a good look, guys. Uh, yeah, anyways, let's move on here. Uh, let's. I'm, I'm getting angry just thinking about the disappointment that the Adapt BB 2.0 is. Not performance-wise, but visually. YJ, just subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, my man. Thanks for joining the Sneaker Show. I appreciate you. The Jerron Mob appreciates you. Let's move on. Oh, another Nike Space Hippie collection will drop later this month. Now... Take a look at this collection while I look up the Space Hippie because the Space Hippie collection was hyped, right? Oh, right here. It's right on the front page. <clears throat> oh, the resale isn't too bad, guys. Okay, so $335 for this, um, the O3 Space Hippies, which were the most hyped. Uh, the lowest ask is actually $432. Not terrible. Could be a lot worse. Now, I actually wanted to pick one of these up. I struck out on the sneakers app. I mean, who didn't speak or strike out? Um, I liked uh, this one. Oh, this is the women's one. We can't have that. Uh, was it this one? I think it was this one. 338 Okay, so they're expensive, but they're not off-white expensive, right? So maybe when these drop, it'll lower the value of the previous Space Hippie collection, because I think these are going to be hyped as well. They're probably going to sell out. So if you want to pick up a pair, you got to be ready. You got to be on your game. Hashtag Mama Mentality. Uh, but it's pretty much the same collection, same silhouettes, different colorway. You have kind of green and blue instead of the the orange crimson that was in the previous Space Hippie collection. Which one do you guys like better? I think, you know, they're pretty similar. They're, they're not much different. I think either one of these would be ha I'd be happy with. A big difference is the midsole colorway. Now, this is more of a mint, whereas the previous Space Hippie was like a cool, you know, winter fresh blue. I'm thinking of gum when I'm looking at these. And trust me, we're going to be showing you guys a sneaker that really looks like someone stepped in a ton of bubble gum. I saw Josiah uh, put that in the chat before the show started, and I 100% agree, Josiah. I cannot wait for you guys to react to this sneaker that we have coming a little bit later in the show, but... So the big difference here, you have the blue midsole, and with these, you have kind of a, a minty, you know, like a mint chip, you know, looking midsole. I think these are both, these are both great, guys. I mean, this Space Hippie collection is awesome. It looks comfortable. It looks futuristic. I really like this collection, guys. So I'm going to say it's a cop. The only reason why I'm not going to say a mega cop is because, um, 
they're hyped, but they're not like extremely, extremely hyped. You know what I mean? It's not like an off-white hype. It's not like a Kobe release hype. It's not like a OG Jordan, you know, release hype. They're hyped, but you have to be into them. There's some releases where even if you're not into that shoe, you want to try to pick up a pair because you know it's going to be hyped. You know people are going to envy you, and you know you might be able to make a penny or two on StockX or on Craigslist, eBay, whatever. It's a free country. You're able to do that. I personally don't do that. I, I'm against it, but you have to understand that people have the right to do that. This isn't one of those releases. People aren't picking these up because they want to flip them. I mean, I'm sure there are people, but for the most part, people are picking these up because they want them. And uh, that's why it's not a mega cop to me. But I'm seeing a lot, a lot of cops in the chat. Brilliant Buckets gives us a fire emoji, a flame emoji. He likes these so much. Uh, Jack says cop as well. Gene says real clean. I can't agree with you. Um, as for which colorway I like better, this one or this one, I'm going to go with the original. I like that crimson. I like the blue midsole. I like my red and blues. I like my hot and cool tones, whereas these are more of a, you know, springy type vibe, which I like, but I like that more hot and cool tone tone colorway so um when are these releasing let me guess soon uh <laughs> um let's see here i think july 16th at nike.com between 130 and 180 dollars so july 16th be on the lookout for the space hippie 2.0 collection all right let's move on to our last nike sneaker for the show it is the nike Air Force One Low LX. Now, these are interesting. Are these women's only is what I wanted to know. I don't see anything here that says women's only. Now, the reason why I asked that is because look at this shoe. I mean, it kind of looks like a, a feminine type vibe, right? But I do think you could pull it off if you're a guy. I do. I like the bling. I would probably take this blue ruby off and just leave the the diamond looking one and the gold swoosh this blue one kind of makes it look like a women's shoe too much to me and who knows it might it actually might be a women's shoe because they retail for 120 dollars what does that mean does lx mean women's who knows but uh otherwise it's an all white colorway you have a little bit of texture on the swoosh you have a you know beige or khaki tongue which i think looks dope and it's a thin tongue so i like that all white Air Force One, one of the most popular sneakers of all time. The best selling sneaker of all time, the Air Force One. And you have these bling accessories. I like these. However, <sighs> you know, honestly, if I walked through Foot Locker and these were on the shelf in my size at $120, I think I would cop, guys. It's a white on white Air Force One. It's clean. Rocking this with a pair of jeans, joggers. It's going to look dope. You have the accessories. You could take them on or off, whatever you like. I think it's dope. I I, I like these. I like them. Okay? I like them. I, I, I'm not going to feel bad for liking them. I'm, say, I'm seeing 50-50 in the chat. I'm, I'm seeing 50-50 in the chat for these. Uh, Slim in the chat says trash. While G, welcome back, G. Thanks for joining the Sneaker Show once again. Uh, really appreciate it. Says cop. I like them. So it's a polarizing sneaker. I'm going to say we're going 60, 40% cop. So 60% of the chat wants to cop. 40% wants to drop. Luke says drop. I'm sorry, bro. Drop. <laughs> that tan color pops, though. That's right, Bernard. I, I really like how that tan pops off. And I like these accessories. I think there's a closer look at the accessories here. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty dope. It looks dope. I like them, but I understand why some people wouldn't like these. Now, when are these dropping? Uh, in the upcoming weeks. Come on, yo. <sighs> we don't know when all these sneakers are dropping. But anyways, let's switch gears here to a Nike-owned company, but not Nike, which is... Guess? Did you guess? Converse. Okay. Kelly Oubre Jr. and Converse All-Star Pro BB Soul Collection... Let me know what you guys think about these. I think they, they already dropped. Um, I wonder if they're on the website. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. 
Converse.com. Now, this is a, a sneaker that I actually wanted to pick up, but it just it didn't work out. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah, they are available right now in pretty much all the sizes. So here is the Converse All-Star Pro BB Soul Collection from Kelly Oubre. Now, as you guys know, Kelly Oubre, uh, let's see here, custom Converse has some incredible Converse PEs. I mean, look at these. Holy smokes. What? What? That is an Instacop. That is an Instacop. This is such a beautiful sneaker. I love this sneaker so much. The reason why I love it is because I'm a fan of that original Great Wave of Kanagawa art. Look at my mouse pad. There you guys have it. So you guys know I'm liking these. I love these. Uh, Converse should have released these. I mean, holy smokes, guys. These are absolute f -f -f fire. Wow. Wow. Now, what we get instead are these, which are bad. They're not awful, but they're not these, okay? They're not these. And they're not even these, okay? The Grinches. And they're not even these. I'd rather have. Uh, I can't, I can't show you guys these. I'd rather have these than what we did get. I mean, these are dope. It's kind of like a sun graphic. I really like those. And it's such a clean sneaker. The All-Star Pro B is such a clean sneaker. I love how it looks like a direct ancestor to the Chuck Taylors. I, I really, really dig that. You guys have heard me say it on the show before. I like when, you know, you have modern tech that looks retro inspired. I think that's such a beautiful balance and that's what this uh, silhouette has to offer so these are just okay i mean they're all right uh they're not awful i like the colors um now this is a colorway that i like better the low top version is a little bit closer to this great wave of kanagawa pe right guys so this to me is a cop this to me is a cop i love the blues the graphic does look a little, like, kind of cheap. It kind of looks like um, Under Armour's Nike ID. You know, like, you could put your own image. It kind of looks like that. Or I remember Adidas had that on their, um, what was it, like the ZX Torsion or something like that. They had an app where you could put your own photo. That's what that reminds me of. But I do think these are pretty wet, for lack of a better term. Sorry about the pun. But I would cop these, and I would drop these. It's just not much here, guys. I'd rather have just a simple black and white or white and black colorway of these than this colorway here. But the lows are absolutely beautiful. I really like these. They're wet. I like these. Um, I'm seeing a lot of cops in the chat as well. Most people would like to cop these, but I think we could all agree that the Great Wave of Kanagawa PE is absolute f f Fire, yo, and uh, they should have definitely d -d -d dropped these. Wow. I'm stuttering because I'm so amazed by this. This is what, why? Listen, it doesn't take a genius. It doesn't take a genius, Converse. Give the people what they want. This colorway of the All-Star Pro BBs, I guarantee you people will buy them. I guarantee you. Because if I go on Converse.com right now, look. Oh, size 13 and a half or size 12, 13 and four and a half are sold out, which tells me they didn't make much of these. Okay. So sell out, sold out doesn't mean much to me on this. These are absolutely dope. Now let me take a look at the lows. Okay. Size 11 and a half, 12, 13 and three and a half have sold out. But yo, th these are really nice. How much are these? 130? Might have to pick these up guys. 130 for the lows. What other colorways do they have of these? Let's take a look. Um, I, I'm confused about this. Uh, oh, here we go. Shop performance basketball. <sighs> oh, okay. They have the this one, like a Carolina-inspired colorway. Ooh, a lot of these are kind of sold out, kind of. But again, I don't think they made a ton of these. Um, they have a kind of an all-American colorway city pack but see i'd rather have this coat that's clean that looks like a classic chuck taylor that looks like a chuck taylor and i robot remember when will smith had the you know the classic 2012 or 2005 chuck taylors or whatever he said in that movie uh these are these are really clean i'd rather have these than these kelly Ubres, if i'm just being honest uh 
But yeah, I mean, this is a beautiful sneaker. It reminds me a lot of the NXT 360s, the Kobe sneaker. So um, I'm looking to pick these up. I, I want this one, though. Uh, but I'm getting hooked up on that. Let's switch gears here to Jordan brand. Uh, we have the Jordan 11 holiday release. Now, I know in a previous episode of the sneaker show, we had mentioned that the cool gray colorway might be the one that we see during the holiday season. Every year, Jordan brand drops a colorway of the 11s. Everyone goes crazy for them. However, that information turned out to be false. And instead, we're getting these, which is a 25th anniversary colorway. Let me know what you guys think about these in the chat. Let me just point some things out to you guys right off the bat. Take a look at the eyelets here. It has that, um, I, I don't, I forget what this says, but usually this is um, placed somewhere else on the Jordan 11. I'm blanking out here, but it's pretty much a black and white colorway of the Jordan 11, but you have a chrome jump man here and it's kind of pops off the sneaker. It's kind of looks metal, um, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's black and white. What do you want me to say? I think it looks a little weird. What's throwing me off about these is that milky white outsole. It's just throwing me off. I, They should have made it... Um, it would be interesting to see what that... You know, I, I don't know, actually. Because if you put a red outsole, it would just be the, a remix of the breads, right? It might even look like a fake pair of breads. But if you put a slightly tinted blue outsole, it would look like a fake Space Jam, right? So I don't know what they could have done with these. Maybe they could have... Maybe a black midsole? Maybe a black midsole would have done the trick here. But that might have looked like the Gammas. I don't know what they could have done better. But I'm not 100% feeling them. However, with all that being said, I do still think it's a cop. It's not an Insta cop. I'm not going to go through a hassle. I'm not going to, you know, pay way over retail. But it is a Jordan 11. The quality seems to be pretty good on these. You can see the white trim on the patent leather right there, which was something that sneaker fans didn't get for the longest time when Jordan Brand was retroing the 11s. But they're bringing it back, so they're doing the right thing here. Um, I like the eyelid design. I like the chrome jump, man. And it's black on black on white on white. I think it's clean, you know. You guys know me. I love black and white. But did we take a look at what was on the back? Was it 23 or 45? I think it looks like a 23. Yeah, it's a 23. And it looks to be in silver. Yeah, I don't know what they could have done better with these. But it's not totally straight to my heart, you know. But I like them. I'm seeing a lot of people copping these. Gene really likes these in the chat. Yeah, the text is the Jordan 11 language. That's right, Josiah, which I think is a really cool design. Um, Andy in the chat says, eh, hopefully there's another 11 coming out along these anniversary ones. Man, I, I feel you. I, I, can, I can understand why you feel a little bit disappointed with this colorway. But I think, you know, it's a Jordan 11. It's classic. It's almost tradition to pick up a pair of 11s during the holiday season. I do think they're going to sell out, but keep in mind, I think there's going to be a lot, a lot of units of these, like they always are. So you should be able to get your hands on a retail pair if you really want one. You might have to go through some hoops, reserve a pair, raffle, whatever, but there should be a lot of these dropping. So if you're interested, be on the lookout. I think December 15th uh, is the release date for these, December 12th, and they're going to be $220. So uh, there you guys have it. Let's move on. To another Jordan sneaker, it's an 11, but it's the 11 low, i.e. black cement. Let me know what you guys think about these. Now, the Jordan 11 low does have a cult following. There's some people who really like the Jordan 11 lows. However, I do think it was because they were kind of slept on when they originally released, and they had become throughout the years this super rare sneaker that not a lot of people appreciated and to have one in mint or DS condition was very rare. And I think that kind of helped the reputation of the Jordan 11 low. But this black cement colorway, what else needs to be said? It's a black cement colorway. It's pretty much a Jordan 3 on the Jordan 11 low. I think it looks clean. I think if you like these, they're a cop. For me, um, for me personally, I'm going to drop these. 
I'm going to drop these because I have never been a fan of Jordan low sneakers anyways. The 12 lows, the 13 lows, the 11 lows. I like the one lows and the two lows. Those are beautiful sneakers, but everything else that was converted to a low, not a huge fan of. And so that's why I'm going to drop these. But I can understand if you really like these as black cement. It's a classic Jordan colorway. Um, yeah, I mean, not much needs to be said here. I like the elephant print. Maybe the outsole is kind of throwing me off. Maybe that should have been red. I don't know. It kind of looks like a smoky translucent outsole that has already been yellowed, which I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of throwing me off there. But excuse me. Uh, when are these dropping? <sighs> Let's take a look. Uh, July 9th for $170. Um, Sean says Instacop. So Sean says Instacop, but David says drop with a puke face emoji. Jack says mega drop. He's not vibing to these. Wow, I did not know these were going to be so polarizing for you guys. Trent in the chat says, not bad, but got to drop. I'm with you, Trent. I'm with you, Trent. Jack is not dropping, or Jack is not copying these. Jack is dropping these. But Sean really, really likes these. I would say it's about 75% drop in the chat for the Jordan 11 Low Black Cement. All right, let's speed things up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Another Jordan 6 Quai 54 colorway. <laughs> Jordan brand. Jordan brand, Jordan brand, Jordan brand. What are you doing? What is this? What are we doing here? The Quai 54 colorways used to be dope but this is a nope i mean come on now we saw the jordan quiet 54 colorway on last week's episode this is not better okay this is just not bad it's just as bad not better not worse just as bad it's basically a sophie's choice at this point pick your poison which one you want these are awful i mean what are we doing here weird color for the upper first of all and then they double down on that with a slightly different hue of the same color on the outsole which just makes it look old already it looks aged in not a good way and look at the 3m okay great there's 3m you guys know i like 3m but come on what is this what colors are we working with here why does it look like this not a fan this is what we call on the sneaker show Bruh. a mega drop it's a mega drop don't think about it don't pay for them don't even get these on sale. It, let's be honest. Let's be honest with each other. And I could already see in the chat people are mega dropping these. Let's just be honest with each other, guys, okay? Honesty corner. If you saw these at Marshalls for $59.99, right? Because Jordans don't go lower than that at Marshalls. If you saw these at Marshalls for $59.99, would you cop? Honest, honest. Be honest with me. It's a Jordan 6 for 60 bucks at Marshalls in your size. Would you cop? Because I wouldn't. I'm being honest. I still would pass on these. And even if the res if if the lowest uh sold pair on StockX was 150 bucks, I still want to cop them for 60 bucks at Marshalls. It's not worth the hassle. It, it's not. Slay Blaze in the chat says hard no. But Mars Random in the chat says Yes, he would cop at Marshalls for fifty nine ninety nine. I I think Mars shops at Marshalls a lot. I think Mars is one of those dudes who goes to Marshalls on restock day. Back at home, Ross restocked on Tuesday. You go Tuesday night. You got fresh pair of kicks. You might get lucky. I, I haven't figured out the the restock days here at Ro Ross and Marshalls in California, but back in Hawaii, I knew it, and I would go after school and I would look if there were any steals. But I'm seeing a lot of people saying. No, they wouldn't cop even at Marshall. So, Mars, you're the guy who would cop them. You'd be the lucky guy who would find these at Marshall's. Everyone else uh, would say no. Vincent says he would cop at $59.99 and customize them. That's very interesting, Vincent. How would you make these better? You'd have to do something with the upper, right? I mean, you'd have to make maybe extend this print or get another print that complements this or I don't know. 
this should have been like blue, like a navy blue, or even white would have looked better than this khaki. I mean, it's it's a it's a weird sneaker. It's a mega job. We 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 don't have to spend any more time on it, guys. Uh, the next sneaker is the Jordan 12 University Gold. Uh, now we have a black and yellow sneaker coming in a little bit later in the show, and I want to tell you guys right now, black and yellow is one of my favorite color combinations. If you take a look at my uh, Pelican case right here, it's black and yellow. Um, I have the Mamba sticker. I don't know if you guys could see that. I can't lift the camera down, but uh, this is my Pelican case. It has all of my um, camera gear. It's black and yellow, so I love black and yellow. It's one of my favorite. Black and red and black and yellow are my two favorites, top two. I like black and red better, but black and yellow is a close second. So these are really cool. However, since they're not an OG colorway, right, we have that stigma where we're just not as much in love with these as we could be because Jordan didn't wear these when he played basketball. It's simple. And Jordan was a bull, you know, so the red and black is just something that we as sneaker fans like. But that's not to take anything away from this colorway. It's just that's that's just the name of the game, guys. That's just the rules that we play by. You know, sneakerheads like black and red better than black and yellow. It's just simple. So I don't think these are going to sell out. I really don't. Um, if this was a Drake colorway, though, it would sell out. If this was a Drake colorway and it looked just like this and not even an OVO logo on it, it was just Drake wore these in a video and he endorses these, they would sell out. But since they're just black and yellow, they're not going to sell out. So if you want these, I think you have a pretty good chance at getting them. Um, so I... <sighs> I would not cop these at full retail price, but if they were on sale, what is the retail price for a pair of 12s these days? <clears throat> um, I think it's 190. So if these were 160, if these were 160, I would cop. I would, but at 190, I'd rather just get something else. I'd rather save a little money for the Space Hippie collection. I'd rather get, you know, a Nike by You colorway. I'd rather get, you know, something a little bit different. But at 150 bucks, it's a cop. At 190 bucks, it's a drop. Um, we're looking at 6040 in the chat. Marvy says uh 6040. Luke says cop. Um uh, Slim Poppy says this is good. Gary Payton had a PE of these. You know, I I think you're right, Bark Barkinator. Gary Payton. Let's look that up. <clears throat> Gary Payton. Peyton Jordan 12 PE. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, you know what? I might just have to cop these now. I, I, might, <laughs> uh, I might have to cop these. You know you know why? I'll tell you why. It's because I have a Gary Payton Lakers jersey, okay? And I forgot that I didn't realize that he wore these when he was on the Lakers. Sneaker culture wasn't as big back then, especially in, in my part of the world. So I might have to actually cop these now because I have that jersey. Not this one. I have a yellow one. And Gary Payton signed the jersey. I met him at Michelin Ness on Fairfax in L.A. And he signed my jersey. So um, one of my favorite players of all time. I might have to cop now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It might even be an Instacop. It might be because I'm a Laker fan, obviously, and I have that jersey. It would be great to have to my collection, right? So, um, hey, Barkinator. Thank you, son. Thank you, dude. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, dog. That that was a big, big lob. I just slammed it in right there. Thank you so much, Barkinator. All right, let's move on to another Jordan sneaker, the Jordan Why Not 0.3 SE. Um, so the SE is, you know, the playoff, the postseason colorways that kind of modify the sneaker just a little bit. So you're seeing these exposed, you know, rope style, fly wire type things. It kind of gives the shoe an exposed look. But let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Obviously, it's pretty bright. It matches Russ's personality. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's bright. It's orange. It seems like orange is a theme this year. I don't know why. It kind of looks like the PG Gatorades. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to have to drop these. I'm just, eh, meh, meh. Jack says it perfectly. Meh. 50 50 if you want these it's no problem i i will say though i like how the jordan why not 0.3 looks i love the midsole design i love those sharp edges 
I love the chaotic nature of the upper, but in a way it just works. It doesn't look like out of place or anything. It, I, I like the way it looks. It, it's an aggressive looking shoe and it's a very light shoe too. It doesn't look light, but when you pick them up, it's pretty light. So I really like this, the way the shoe looks, but in this colorway, ah, ah, man, it's a drop for me. And I think a lot of people are 50, 50 in the chat as well. I'm seeing some cops. I'm seeing some drops. Deborah says in the chat that uh, it looks like a Gatorade colorway. That's right. We're definitely right on the same page. Marvy says it looks like the Kyrie 5 pineapple house. I can see where he's going with that. Josiah says, nah, those look like a Rugrats colorway. Yeah, I mean, I think the shoe's great, but the colorway is not. When are these dropping? 130 bucks, July 15th. So if you're interested, July 15th for those. All right. Uh, now we have two more colorways of the Jordan uh 0 0.3 why not what a crazy name right uh here's another colorway this is a little bit better i like this colorway these are clean i really really like these this is a cop for me guys this is a cop i like the yellow right here everything's sharp i like these a lot a lot better than um these orange ones right here a lot better what did you guys say these orange ones versus these uh, white multicolored one. I'm seeing a lot of cops in these as well. Marvy says, I'll cop that. I'm right with you, brother. I'd cop these for sure. Now, there's another colorway. Uh, these are called... Oh, no. This is the same one, but different angles. These are clean. Hey, Jizzle. Jizzle. What a name. Thanks for subscribing, my man. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. Um... This is really clean. Love the black tongue. The black kind of brings everything all down together. This jump man should have been black, though, just if I'm being honest. But I like the multiple colors. I like how it looks like Westbrook wrote on these. It's really nice. It kind of gives, gives me an off-white vibe. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So I like these. These are a cop. But there is supposed to be another colorway of these. Oh, here they are. These... Okay, so I don't know, actually. Are these better? <sighs> Anonymous. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, dog. Thanks so much for subscribing. Um, so this looks like the sneaker show color scheme, right? If you're looking at my border and you're looking at all the stuff, it has, you know, kind of the hot pink purplish vibe. So this is like a sneaker show PE. It would have been black, not white. But these are a cop, too. I, I really like these. I, I can't tell if I like these or these better what do you guys think um take a good look let me know in the chat do you like these i think these are eliminated right so we can eliminate these these hmm kyle king says these look like miami shoes yeah Caden says cop all the way <sighs> yeah i don't know i think i like oh this is tough because these would look hard with some black socks and black leggings on the court. That would look hard. But these are good, too. I can't pick, guys. I can't pick. <sighs> um, I think these are better. I think these are better because I do like the yellow here on the toe box. But I think these look a little bit cleaner. Josiah says both are drops for him. But I think these ones, I don't know. I don't know. Luke says the multicolor one is the obvious win. Yeah, I can't tell. They're both great. I'd be happy with either one, guys. But either way, they're both a cop. Definitely both a cop. So there you guys have it. All right, let's move on. Uh, our last Jordan sneaker. And then after this, we have the crazy sneaker that I was talking to you guys about earlier in the show. So you guys are going to want to stick around. Um, but these are... The Jordan Westbrook 1, which I guess is a teardown model, like a team model, kind of like the soldier line that LeBron has, but for Westbrook. And you guys have heard me talk about these before. They look like a kid's shoe. Looks like a kid's shoe. Don't like them. This colorway, don't like it. So you guys already know. It's a drop. It's a drop. What do you guys think about these in the chat? I think it's interesting that Westbrook is getting a, sign a second signature line. Like I didn't... Like, I see Westbrook's every now and then in the gym, but I didn't know it warranted, like, a second line. Like, Kyrie's a big, big star, right? So he has a second line. 
Um, LeBron, obviously. Kobe, obviously. KD clearly has the KD Trey line, so he he deserves it. Curry also with the zero point, whatever they call it, the SC zero three thirty whatever, crazy names. Uh, but Westbrook does he? I mean, Harden does right, but Giannis doesn't. Paul George doesn't. Does Westbrook deserve a takedown model? You know, I I don't think so. I just maybe Jordan should focus on the signature main line before you know diving into a second line. And when they dive into second line, these kind of reminds me of the Curry Sevens. Actually, the more that I look at them, don't they? Let's take a look. Let's compare. Uh, I need the orange colorway. Don't these? look like these in a way right kind of like a rounded design especially around the heel look at the heel look at the overlay right here on the heel okay ready boom you have a similar overlay it kind of looks similar and this this orange like heel cup the external thing kind of reminds me of like whatever this weird thing the curry sevens have it just kind of kind of reminds me of of each other but yeah it's a drop for me did I already drop these guys? I'll do it again. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now we're going to talk about the main shoe of the episode. Um, when I saw these, I believe I saw these on Instagram. It was like an ad. And I just knew immediately we had to talk about these on the sneaker show. I just was like, what in the world are these? Now, even though they might not be in the category that you're used to, I do think it's worth mentioning and worth talking about because this is a sneaker show. We talk about all sneakers, primarily basketball sneakers, but all sneakers in general. So this shoe right here is one of the craziest shoes that I've seen since the Adidas Spring, Spring Blade. What were those called? Spring Blade. Remember these guys? Holy smokes. You, <laughs> uh, that's a small photo. Uh, here we go. Do you guys remember the Adidas spring blade? Like that was a crazy design, right? And, uh, when these came out, it was controversial. Kick genius had this hilarious video where they, they tried to explain why this doesn't make sense scientifically, which, um, I don't know if the science checked out on that video, <laughs> but I remember watching it being like very interesting take, very interesting take on that. Um, but this was a crazy design. The shoe I'm about to show you is the craziest design since this. I, I really do believe. Now, the shoe I'm talking about is the Mizuno Progress. What, what does this mean? Is this the name of the shoe, Progressive Energy Runner, or is, the, or is it the Mizuno Energy Runner? What is this? Okay, um, let's try to dissect this, guys. Uh, <laughs> according to Mizuno, the Energy, which is a hilarious name, right? Energy uh, combines all of the brand's softest materials and new technologies into a sneaker that is designed to add bounce to your step. Now, when I first saw these, the first thing that I saw or thought of was like, this looks like a sneaker from the future in a movie. Do you know what I mean? Like, it looks like a sneaker that would be in, like, Back to the Future or, like, Blade Runner or something like that. You know, Alita Battle Angel or, or something crazy like that. That's what it reminded me of. Josiah said it looked like someone jumped in a bunch of bubble gum, which is totally true. What an interesting, interesting sneaker. Now, I'm going to shock you guys. I appreciate the idea of the sneaker but i don't appreciate the execution of it now what i mean by that is i think i don't know maybe i'm being unfair because i don't know how they feel it might be the most comfortable sneaker that i've ever worn and if they are then i, I i'd appreciate them even more but what i mean by the execution is they went with pink which reminds you of bubble gum if this was white, would we be saying bubble gum? No, we wouldn't. We'd be saying maybe like packing corn or, uh, um, you know, fake boost. But maybe they should have went with a different color. Blue, yellow, green, red, anything but this pink. So they didn't execute it properly. 
the logo is in a weird spot as well. You can't really see the logo. Why is that little puck there? It's just weird. Take the logo off. Let the sneaker design stand out for itself. Or maybe put Mizuno like on the back of the heel or whatever. And then you can see like these bulbs or these boba balls or this looks like those puff um, like pastries. It kind of leaks up onto the, the suede looking external heel cup overlay, which is just weird. It, it just looks weird. And the most egregious thing that Mizuno did here with the Energy Runner is these retail for, and I'm not joking with you guys, this sneaker retails for a hundred. Nope, not a hundred. 200 nope not 200 but 300 dollars wow 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 <laughs> what <laughs> 300 bucks 300 bucks for the energy runner you got to be playing yourself congratulations you played yourself mizuno and look i could get 5% off wow wow Wow, that is just incredible. 5% off. Thank you so much. You're so gracious. 300 bucks for what? A foam? <laughs> okay, here's my problem. It's just foam. It's not even Boost. It's just foam. Boost doesn't even cost $300. This is, the, the Adidas 3D printed sneakers cost $300, which makes sense because those are 3D printed. These, are they 3D printed? Who knows? Let's see. Let's take a look at the video, guys. Let me mute it before I get copyright striked on this. Okay, you're seeing a bunch of people doing parkour. Okay. Wow. Sick. I didn't even see that much compression on that. Now, that, that actually looks red as opposed to pink. But who knows? Uh, <laughs> look, they're jumping all over the place. Is that CGI? That's the, that's the whole video. That's, that's it? That's all we got? 16 seconds of people doing parkour? Now, wait, are those guys wearing them? No, they're not. Oh, so the idea is they're doing parkour, and he's got those, and he's jumping that high. That's fake. That's not real. He didn't actually jump like that. What kind of commercial is this? First of all, the guy's white. Should be the black guy jumping higher. Just saying. White man can't jump. I didn't make the movie. I didn't, I didn't make the movie title. White man can't jump. What do you want me to say? Uh, what a weird... This is weird. Now, the information Mizuno gives you is, if you've ever wanted that wow feeling underfoot, you love, we'd love to introduce you to the Mizuno Energy. The signature, this signature shoe takes all of our softest materials and... Okay, so they don't say anything. They don't say anything about the sneaker. It's just like, it feels great. It's our softest materials. It's our newest technology. That's it. What is going on here, guys? This is absolutely hilarious for $300. It's just foam. It's just foam. It's the same stuff that you get in every other sneaker. It just looks different. So, yo, this is going to be, I hate to do this because I love innovation, but come on, the execution Mizuno was just not, it didn't come correct. So I have to, I have to. Mega drop. Bruh. I have to. I have no choice. You left me with no choice but to mega drop you. $300? You got to be playing yourself. That is just absolutely awful. Um, What is Mizuno thinking? Imagine if a basketball shoe came out like that. Come on now. All right, let's move on. Let's finish up the show here. We're, we're going a little bit long. We got the Ultra Boost uh, Multicolor DNA Ultra Boost. What do you guys think about these? We'll be quick here. Um, I don't really like these. I'm going to drop these. Don't like this uh, teal greenish color on the back over here. It doesn't really match what's going on in the forefoot. I think if this heel cup was black, this would be a lot better, and I would probably make it a cop because I love the look of the materials. I like how it turns into white on the collar. White midsole, boost, looks clean, but this heel cup really throws off and ruins the entire shoe for me. And a lot of you guys are saying drop. King Cobra says nuke drop. Uh, yeah, I'm right with you guys. It's a drop. Uh, let's move on to the next. Uh, here's a little bit of a better multicolor ultra boost. Oh, no. I'm sorry. The other one was a better one. This one is not. This is also going to be a drop for me. What is going on here? This looks awful. 
purple, weird teal color, orange, volt, black midsole. I don't understand it. Adidas has never been great with colorways, and they're showing their stripes here. Wow. wow. Uh, man, that's the second best pun of the day, okay? Uh, yeah, it's a drop for me. A lot of you guys are saying drops as well. Uh, someone in the chat says, hate Ultra Boost. You hate Ultra Boost? Why do you hate Ultra Boost? Ultra Boosts are good, but not this colorway. Okay, uh, last Ultra Boost colorway. These are better. This Cindy colorway. Shout out to all my Australians out there. Uh, that wasn't the best, best Australian accent. I'm working on it, guys. But this looks pretty good. I like these. Yellow, green, San Ramon High colorway. My mom's high school. Shout out to San Ramon uh, Valley High. I it's clean, but I'm not Australian, so I have to drop these. But if you're Australian, you kind of have to cop these. I mean, especially if you're from Sydney. I mean, it's dope. Australian pride, definitely. Now, what's interesting is if you wear these, can you pull off the accent while you wear them? I don't know. Who knows? All right. Last but not least, before we get to steals and deals, is we have the Reebok Shaq Gnosis Shaq Fu colorway. The Shaq Gnosis are coming back. Here is a black and white colorway. Now, I'm going to shock you guys with what I have to say about these because these, to me, are a cop i i want to cop these for a couple of reasons we all know shaq fu is one of the worst video games ever created of mankind so it has this hilarious cult following it's kind of like the disaster artist the movie the worst the best worst movie ever created shaq fu is the the worst worst video game ever created or maybe it's the best worst video game ever created but you have shaq fu right there on the tongue if you can't see it, maybe that stitching, stitching should have been yellow, maybe even red to give a little Kung Fu Bruce Lee vibe, huh? Reebok, come on. Make, do the right thing. Make that red. But I love black and yellow. I think it pops. I like the switch up of materials. You can kind of see some stitching right here on that toe cap. You have suede for the upper. I like the Shaq Gnosis. It's one of my favorite silhouettes of all time. I just love how unique they look. I like this sneaker. It's a cop for me. Gene says drop. Luke says drop, a drippity drop, mega drop. I, I understand, guys. This is not going to be for everyone, but for me, it's a cop. I'm a Laker fan. I'm a Shaq fan. I'm a bigger Kobe fan, but Shaq was, was crucial, right? As a Laker fan, I love black and yellow like I talked about earlier with those Jordan 12s, and I love the Shaq Gnosis. So it checks three boxes. You have my personal preference. You have one of my favorite color combinations, and you have, I love the silhouette. So three checks, three strikes, and you're out, but three checks, and you're in. It's a cop for me, guys. When are these dropping? And look at the insole. You have a special Shaq Fu insole. And look at the stitching on the heel, guys. I really like that. Here's a look at the insole if you didn't see it earlier. I really like these. Oh, here's the insole. Look at that. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that a minion? What? What is going on here? Is that a minion? Oh, I'm going to have to drop now. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to drop. I can't. I don't mess with the minions, yo. I don't mess with the minions. I don't mess with the minions. I'll say it again. I don't mess with the minions. Why do the minions invade? Why are the minions even here? What do they have to do with Shaq Fu? What? What? That just ruined the sneaker for me. That ruined the sneaker for me. So you know what? I'm still going to cop, but I'm going to take this insole out and I'm going to burn it. And I'm going to throw it in the garbage disposal. And I'm going to throw it away. I'm not looking at this insole. Even though when I'm wearing the shoe, I can't see it. I don't want my feet stepping on this. No, I'm burning this. This is going to be burned. I'm going to cop this sneaker and I will show you guys on my Instagram, which by the way, you can follow right here. I'm going to burn the insole of this sneaker because I don't like this. Why are the, all minions should be burned. I'm sorry. I hope there's no minions in the chat, but if you are in the chat, minions, gaba gaba gooba gaba gooba baba babu, banana. That means I'm going to burn you and I'm going to murder you because I do not like you and I don't want, do not want you on my sneakers. Okay. Shaq Fu, when are you releasing so I can burn you? Uh, to 160. What? 
Come on, Reebok. You're killing me, bruh. This is a $140 sneaker. $130. Come on. Whatever. I'm still copying. Uh, release date has not been announced. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> all right. So now let's wrap up the show here. I know we're going a little bit long, but I want to thank everyone who stayed with us. Steals and deals. Not a ton of steals and deals on today's episode, but I do have some good ones. So we're going to go right into deals and steals. Okay. First up, we have the Nike Kyrie 6. This is a brand new signature sneaker, guys. In this interesting colorway, let me know what you guys think about it. It's $100. Good sizing, okay? Now, this is not the only colorway that's available on East Bay. And by the way, all the purchase links will be in the description box below. This is not a sponsored segment, but I do get a little bit of commission from these sales. So if you want to help out the show, you want to support the channel, feel free. Just Even if you just click on the link, I get... I get some love. So if you want to show love, give me some love. Click the links in the description box below. But if you're looking for a new pair of kicks, this is the show you need to pay attention to. Now, these are $100. Um, there's another colorway that was on sale as well. Let me try to find it. These are $125, so not that much of a discount, but a little bit better of a colorway. Uh, these, the kind of red, white, and blue uh, Nanaya. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for subscribing. These are also $99. Let me check the sizing here. Good sizing, guys. So if you're interested in picking up the Kyrie 6, it's a fantastic encore performer. The Kyrie 6 for $100 is a pretty good steal. All right, next up. We have the PG4 for $100. Now, the PG4 is already $110, so it's already cheap. But $100 for this clean black and white colorway. Great size selections. Right, so if you want to experience full-length, top-loaded Nike Air, hundred dollars is easily worth the price of admission. But if you don't like this colorway, I believe this colorway is eighty-five dollars. This colorway isn't going to be for everyone, but I have to say I do kind of like it. It's got a fall digi camel type vibe to it. I like the switch up of materials on the Nike swoosh, and I like the speckled midsole as well. So these are eighty-five dollars. Okay, are there any other colorways? The bread colorway, also $85. And I think these are $99. These were the plaid, like, all-star colorways or whatever. Here's those other Gatorades that we talked about earlier. But, um, yeah, the PG4 for up for as little as $85 is definitely steal. Thanks to eastbay.com. All right. Next up, we have the LeBron witness for in a laker colorway for 90 dollars. now this is essentially a budget version of the lebron 16. you take a look you have that nike air zoom air in the forefoot uh i can't can't really see it there where can we see it uh how do i get rid of this oh here we go let's go back you have that max zoom air in the forefoot you have, you know, looks like soft uh, mesh materials, a little bit breathable, external heel cup, looks pretty sturdy, and you have some fuse overlays. So this might be a good outdoor option for you guys. Uh, it's basically a LeBron 17, not a 16. Uh, so this is the Zoom Windows for $90, decent size selection, and that is at Dick's Sporting Goods. Again, links in the description box below. Here's another one. This might not be the biggest steal, but it is on sale, and it is the LeBron 3. So maybe the LeBron 3s are some of your favorite uh, LeBron silhouettes of all time. You might want to pick these up. You have this colorway. Uh, you have these for a buck thirty-five. the St. Vincent St. Mary's, but not a ton of sizes. And you have the black, white, and reds, also not a lot of sizing. But these blue ones, um, which reminds me of like a hardwood hardwood classic colorway, these have good sizes. A buck thirty. so that's a pretty good steal. All right, last but not least, we have the Y9 0.3. Now, we talked about the SEs, right? So this is why you're probably seeing some of the Y9 0.3s on sale because the SEs are rolling out. So these are going to be technically outdated. But for $109, this is going to be a pretty solid option if you're a quick and explosive guard like Westbrook. It's a light sneaker. It's explosive thanks to that large zoom unit in the forefoot. And I like this colorway. $109, so you're getting about 20 bucks off. Good size selection. The link to this is in the description box below, but that pretty much takes care 
of our steals and deals segment. And that concludes our episode for the sneaker show. Thanks so much to everyone in the stream. I think we got as high as like 275 viewers, which is great. I love to see you guys. Last week, we got up to 300, which was amazing. But uh, if you guys could, please drop this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And remember, if you're just joining us or you missed some of the show, every single Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific, we are going live right here on the channel for the sneaker show. And if you love the live streams, we have a game night where we hang out with the Jaron mob. We talk story. We just talk about anything. It just gives me a chance to hang out with you guys for you to get to know me better. So that's usually on Thursday or Friday. So again, Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Thanks so much. I need to shout out Jack's sister before we leave on the show. Jack's sister. What's Jack's sister's name? We don't know Jack's sister's name. But shout out to Jack's sister. I appreciate all the love, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode of The Sneaker Show. Uh, my name is Jerome Mont, and I'll be signing off. The more you 